you're anything like me, the Geneva Motor Show amounts to little more than window shopping. Supercars are great, but I've got about as much chance of taking one of those home for keeps as the product experts that they have sitting on the hood to make you look at them. That's where cars like this come in. They're built for normal people with average budgets. On that note, meet the 2015 Audi TT. To use an automotive journalism cliche, the design is really more evolutionary than revolutionary. Still, it gets sharper angles and an updated look that keeps it more in line with current Audi products. Of course, what's most important is what's under the skin, or sheet metal as it were, because this is the first sports car to be built on Volkswagen's MQB modular architecture. The base 2.0-liter turbo 4 makes 230 horsepower, while the hotter TTS version standing beside me offers 310 and 273 pound-feet of torque. In front-wheel drive form mated to a 6-speed manual, the latter will reach 62 miles an hour in 4.7 seconds. A manual transmission is standard, while a dual clutch comes with launch control. In terms of overall size and length, this car is actually exactly the same as the model that it replaces, except it has a slightly longer wheelbase for improved stability at higher speeds. Updates to the cabin include a 12.3-inch TFT display where you would normally find the gauge clusters. It handles all sorts of duties, from maps to giving you information about your speed and everything else that you can really imagine. You'll also be able to pick a Bang & Olufsen sound system if you want to spend a little bit more in the options bracket. Other things to mention for this car include matrix beam LED headlights and, of course, also a diesel engine, both of which aren't going to make it to the U.S. market. Speaking of the U.S. market, we're expecting to see this car show up sometime early next year, although Audi hasn't officially announced any specific dates for dealer arrival.